Perfectly Norman by Tom Percival. Norman had always been normal, perfectly normal, until one day. He grew a pair of wings. Norman had imagined growing taller, or growing a beard like his dad, but he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. Soon Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun ever. But then he had to go in for dinner. You see, Norman had always been so normal. He didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. Dinner! As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. His parents didn't notice the wings but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Bath time was problematic. So was bedtime. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings, ever. The next day, Norman went to the park but he was far too hot to play any of his favourite games. And so it went on. Long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful. And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off and Norman had to run away, hot face, angry and sad. He wished he'd never grown those stupid wings. Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not his wings. Why don't you take that tatty old thing off, suggested his mum and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly. His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and round at each other nervously. There was a moment's pause and then, can you guess what happens? Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never been so happy. He realised that there was no such thing as perfectly normal, but he was perfectly Norman, which was just as it should be.